for the today's sessions of uh, Z Transform, which is a continuous session of uh, uh, my previous two sessions, and uh, this is coming under Module Five under Review Syllabus, and for fourth semester students, uh, this is this is that. In previous two sessions, we discussed the Z Transforms techniques and how that is Z Transform is different from other. Uh, Transforms, Fourier transforms, Laplace, and also we taken, we solved some problems, simple problems, right-sided uh, problems or left-sided problems, and uh, we we converted that into Z transforms. And in the Z domain, we we drawn region of convergence, and also in the end uh, we found the detections of uh, zeros and poles uh, on the Z uh, on the Z plane. Now today. Let me go to little more actually properties of uh, Z transforms. Uh, these are all beautiful properties, uh, two properties: linearity property and time shift properties. Which always Z transform properties as using these properties. Now we can analyze our signals x of n still better, right? Our signals, uh, discrete time signals x of n, still better, and we can study signals and systems better, and we can design filters better. So that that it is very very useful to design real time projects, real time projects, which is used again in the to do processing very fast as today's nowadays uh, the fast processing process uh, you are all seeing right to process to transmit and receive pictures, images, signals better multi processing we are doing nowadays that too this type of uh, time. Corona time now, right? All of us are using Zoom. All of us are interacting with with uh, image uh, and all through online. Then definitely how best and how fast with uh, right uh, these type of transforms uh, processing is very very important. There these two properties uh, plays very important for linear property. Let me take first linear property in these sessions, right? Linearity property what it says. Let me first define the statement. Linearity is nothing but output should follow linearly. Right? It should follow input linearly. Right? If input is linear, then output should also be, also be linear. Actually, for example, let me see first statement. States that that more than one signal appears there. Z transform of x of x one n is gives x one z two sequence. Let let me take then Z transform of x two of n sequence. Right, gives x to z with R O C R two R one. Then prove that combinations of all these signals a one into x one plus a two into x two n, or if if hundred sequences are there, a three into x three n, then such transform of all these combinations of signals, maybe an image, gives right the output side such transform also same a one into x one z. Plus a to n to x to z. That means that the output side also it gives summations of z transform of each sequence as x one z, x two z, like that x n z, right? Now for the proof, for example, I tell, I told you output if inputs are linear, right? Maybe image, maybe more than uh, one signal is always there in linear or pictures nowadays. Then, if input is linearly proportional, linearly proportional. If you take Z transform, output is also linearly proportional, right? Output is also multiplied by a one into x one z plus a two into x two z. Now, proof, right? For this wonderful property, proofs are very simple, right? This is statement. Let me quote for proof. You know that first line, x of z, which is equal to. Summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n. Formula z power n, z power minus n. X of n is there, right? X of n, right? Z power minus n. This is the property. This is the formula actually. Now, I know what I want. I want x of n is this. I want combinations of two. This is my input. Now substitute in, in place of x of n. In place of x of n, a one x one n plus a two x two n. I will see the NHS and prove RHS according. For example, the transform of what is x of n combination a one x one n plus a two x two n. Write the NHS. 
is equal to write the formula summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity a one x one n plus a two x two n is is equal to it is at power minus afterwards split that expand this uh, by splitting both right summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity a one x one into z power minus n similarly second summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity a to x two n power minus n right just two terms will be Now split that. Take out a1 common outside. a1 summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x1 n z power minus n plus a2 into summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x2 n z power minus n. Now this is nothing but a1 into what is this? This is nothing but x1 z. See that. Similarly, a2 into what is this? The standard formula of x2 z. a2 into x2 z. For example, n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x1 n is nothing but x1 z is right. This is because I know this formula. What it says, x of z is equal to n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x1 n x of n z power n. Instead of x of n, I am having x1 n. That's why x1 z. Again, similarly, x2 z is the problem. That means z transform of combinations of the sequence. Let's say n a1 x1 n a2 x2 n a3 x3 n. Then is equal to in the right side summations of the transforms multiplied with constant a one x one z a two x two z a three x three z simple property only two lines first write the statements write the standard equations then just instead of uh, instead of what is that the x of n you substitute the LHS then uh, write the formula split the formula split the, split the formula take out a one and a two constant outside. Right, x one z and x two z. That's the problem. Now, let me go to the time shifting property. This is also very very important property. Name it as time shifting. Time shifting. For example, here what it says, the statement what it says, if z transform of any sequence x of n is equal to x of z, then R O C is equal to R. Then z transform of shifted sequence, time shifted, shifted by x of n, shifted by n not. Minus delayed by n not, right? One maybe one second or two seconds in real time also. Then output is always in the z transform. If you take off this type of signal, output is x of z into that z to the power that shifted second. That is here shifted by minus n. This is minus n. That's all. This is the right statement with R is equal to R. Now where exactly this property is useful? Yes, definitely. Now it is. If a signal, if you transmit, now it is you see, right? If I say today, many of you will understand today, but uh, many of you may not understand, may not understand today only. Now only, you may understand tomorrow. If I say today, after studying and all, you may understand tomorrow. Then how that signals in that domain? Are you understand? And you are processing now it is, for example, downloading application video. If you start downloading, you will not get downloaded today only. Now only, it will take half an hour, one hour. Or if you remember earlier days, right? They when you are talking to the other countries to your friend, if you talk now after half a second or after half a minute, you may reach the other side. They through a call. That's the scenario. Then how that delayed signal behaves? Yeah, we can analyze such signals using the transform by multiplying with that, right? With z power that shifted sequence. This is the significance in the processing. Now proof is simple, right? As usual. Take LHS first point uh, z transform uh, sequence uh, uh, formula z of x of n is equal to x z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity whatever x of n is there x of n into z power minus n standard equations is the standard equations you know now immediately what I want I want n minus n not in x of n that's what I am writing now z transform of instead of x of n you write x of n minus n not is equal to Some x and n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity. A. Substitute this n minus n not here. That's all. The x of n minus n not here into z or minus. N. Now this is very very important step. Now take out n minus n not. Write one more variable. Substitute from now onwards. Six to eight properties are there. Each and every property we do like this only maths. Take out this n minus n not. Substitute it as one extra variable here. Because why? Because is yes, Then I am changing this limit. So n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity to to n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity for simplification purpose only. Are you understanding? 
Now, how I am getting summation after substituting this? I am getting summations from n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity as L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity, right? That is shown here inside a bracket. Now see what I am doing when n is equal to min n minus n naught is equal to l. For example, when n is equal to minus infinity, substitute l is equal to minus infinity minus n n naught. That is nothing but minus infinity. Therefore, your new limit C is l is equal to minus infinity, right? Similarly, when n is equal to plus infinity, yeah, then l is equal to substitute in this formula. L is equal to infinity minus n naught. Which is nothing but L is equal to infinity. Therefore, your upper limits are summation changes from L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. From here to here. Are you understanding? Just substitute, then uh, your formula becomes z is equal to z to the power after this. Z of x of n minus L naught is equal to summation. Instead of these summations, L. L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. X of n minus L naught is nothing but x of what is n minus L naught? n minus n naught is nothing but n. That n you substitute into z to the power minus n. What is n? n is nothing but n plus n naught. That I am right. n plus n naught. Now split this. Split this. What you will get is next is n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n. Z power minus n into z power minus n naught. Z power minus n into z power minus n naught. Now see that. This z power minus n naught is very very important. This just look what you want to prove. You want to prove this outside R H S as z to the power minus n naught into x of z. Now this term you got now. Then just modify this. Take out this this term outside. Then z to the power y minus n naught into this whole thing is nothing but y is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n to the power minus n. Which is nothing but the x of z standard equation. For example, why? Because yes, we know this x of z is equal to standard equation. Yen is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n z power minus n. Here instead of yen, what I am having is x of n. Instead of yen, I am having yen. See, this is same as yen is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n. Yen. That is nothing but z transform. Z transform. Z transform. Therefore, z to the power minus n not into x of n. Hence the property, right? Hence the uh, this uh, property. Oh, what is that? This beautiful property of time shifting is uh, is the proof. X of n is x of z. Then shifted sequence is z to the power minus shifted sequence minus n naught into x of z. That statement. First try it as it is. First try. Then afterwards uh, substitute the LHS. Substitute here. Then change this n minus n naught as n. Change these summations. N is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity becomes L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. That I am right. Into x of L, z or minus L of plus L naught. Split this, you will get two terms like this. Then take out z or minus L naught outside. Rest is x of L. That's the property. Now this property definitely told you very very useful in today's signal processing in, in signal processing application. This is how. Z transform using this properties, we can process any signals flexibly and efficiently. Right? I hope uh, it seems I am uh, clear with this property. In maybe next sessions, I'll cover other properties. So many properties are there, six to seven properties. I'll cover that. Then uh, you will understand better how to signal process. Thank you. Thank you, Anand.